video covers calibration intervals and overview. Everything needs to be calibrated at some point. You will learn the cal due date is agreed upon with the customer, that 6 or 12 month are default calibration intervals. You can adjust the interval based upon unit performance and you should perform interim checks. We will review all of these things and why. The why and the how are described in standards documents for interval guidelines, adjusting intervals, and interim checks. Let's take a look at RP1, ISO 17025, and Z540.3. RP1, the recommended practice one from the National Conference of Standard Labs International, covers interval management and describes how to calculate intervals and adjust intervals. ISO 17025, the International Standard for Laboratory Management, states that the calibration interval must be agreed upon with the customer. For the U.S. National Laboratory Standard Z540.3, the calibration due date must also be worked out with the customer. Now we will review interval setting guidelines for electrical and physical technology. Default intervals are 6 months for physical or 12 months for electrical. Physical parts move and may wear out and age in less or longer than 6 months. Electrical components may age and last longer or shorter than 12 months. Everyone is familiar with a unit that lasts longer or another unit that doesn't last as long as others of the same type. There are three examples. First, a torque wrench used daily. Perform a daily check versus a torque standard, a three to six month repeatability and reproducibility study, and sometime between six and 12 months, a torque standard should be sent out for calibration. Second example is an oscilloscope used daily. Perform a daily check versus the built-in frequency standard in the oscilloscope. Then, every 12 months, perform a oscilloscope calibration, whether in-house or outside. The third example, we're going to imagine most flow rate sensors are physical, so therefore a 3-6 to six month check versus a flow standard and 6-12 to 12 month calibration. Our final topic will be a simple method of adjusting intervals using method A, a widely recognized method from RP, Recognized Practice 1 from the National Conference of Standard Laboratories International. For method A adjustment, if the unit is in tolerance after calibration, add one to two months. If the unit is not in tolerance, subtract one to two months from the calibration interval. You have learned that the cal due date is agreed upon with the customer, that there's a six to 12 month default for starting out calculating calibration intervals, and you've seen three example technologies, including interim checks. You have also learned how to perform an interval adjustment using Method A from Recommended Practice 1 from the National Conference of Standard Laboratories International. This calibration interval training is from the flow measurement experts at Proteus Industries.